And then they have another line of thinking that Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam have committed so much crime that he could not die for mankind. That Jesus is fitting because he never committed crime at all in his life. He's sinless. Jesus is sinless. No sin. But Muhammad, the Quran says, was touching the Zambian. Seek forgiveness from your Zulu, from your sin, or your whatever. That's how they say. But Jesus, he never sinned. So he is fitting to die as a sinless sacrifice to save mankind. Muhammad, he married women and men, he came from that, you know, a man and woman link. So this is where he came from. So therefore, it's not perfect enough. Right? He never get married. Plus, he came from a unique system that is, you know, the, the, the miraculous conception of Jesus Christ. So Muhammad is more fitting, not Jesus. I said, well, if this is how you argue, we have answers for you. The answers are ready-made. It's just a matter of using common sense. But what they are trying to do is they use common sense. What they try to do is they use common sense and they use trick. And so most of people who don't understand Islam very well, they begin to question themselves. They begin to question themselves. I said, well, so when I was in Lagos, about two months ago, I gave a lecture on radio. Is Jesus sinful or sinless? That's the other lecture. Is Jesus sinful or sinless? Again, I was applying to that Mario, whoever that is name is. And now, let's analyze Jesus and see if this is sinless. Number one, Jesus tells us, in the book of Matthew chapter 5, verse 22, Jesus said, If anyone say to his brother, You are a fool, that person will be in the hellfire. That's a very good advice. In other words, don't curse your brother. Anyone who say to his brother, Thou fool, or you fool, that person is in danger of entering hellfire. That means we shouldn't call ourselves brethren of food, which is good. It's a good advice. Don't call yourself or your brother as a fool. Don't curse him. Don't swear on him. Good advice. The same Bible again, if you come a little bit down, Matthew chapter 19, verse 23, Jesus said to the leaders of Jerusalem, You fools, you snakes, and you monkeys. This man just tells you and I, that we should curse. But anyone that curses, he goes to hellfire. And now he's cursed. He said, you fools, you swines, you snakes. Again, Matthew 23, 23. He said, you white that sepulchre. You fools, you venoms. How long shall I be with you? The damage of the God is upon you, on Israel. Because you fool, you snake. Why is he cursing on them? When he is telling me that whosoever curse, he's going to hell. So from this analysis, Jesus Christ is going to hell also. According to them, they are all standard. We don't believe he's going to hell, of course. One of the best prophets, the five. But this is what they say that he never committed sin. And whosoever curse somebody is committed sin. So Jesus is actually cursing somebody. It's so number one. Number two, I said, Jesus cursed his own mother in their books. They said, no, 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 I said, this is their book. He killed his mother. So I asked him, open the book of John chapter 1 verse 2. John chapter 1 verse 2 all the way to verse 5. What happened was that there was a marriage feast in a town called Canaan. So they invited Jesus Christ and the disciples to come to the marriage. So Jesus Christ came with the 12 disciples. As they were sitting down, they were coming, they were drinking, they were eating. Then they ran short of wine. There was no wine. So Mary, the mother of Jesus, she came to Jesus, right? She knew that her son had a mysterious powers. So she came to say, we don't have no wine. And we got some people dignitaries they come in. We don't have no wine. And his mother, man, they tell him. You know what he said? He said, woman, what have I to do with thee? My time is not yet. Your problem is not my problem. Can you say this to your mother? SubhanAllah, I will say that you will 
Jesus Christ? Calling his mother woman? He just came to you talking to you in secret. He said, woman, he spoke out to a woman. Calling his mother woman. What have I to do with thee? Allah. My time is not yet. Your problem is not my problem. Is that how Jesus spoke to his mother? I don't think so. But that's what this we don't believe that you Muslim. But this one is, is this sinful or sin? Is this sin? Calling your mother a woman, a woman that carries you for nine months. Because of you, see how they're calling her names. Because of you, she was being insinuated. She can't even sleep. Because of you in the womb. She gave that to you. What is the word mother in the Hebrew language? Um. Couldn't you say um? Yeah, um. It's a woman, just like any woman. In Arabic, it's um also. But he said, woman, what have I to do with thee? My time is not yet. Your problem is not my problem. It's like, man, he's leaving me alone. The Quran corrected that. It's not miserable or overbearing. He's kind to his mother. He's never overbearing or miserable. He doesn't speak such words to his mother. The Quran corrected what they say. So the question is, is that sinful or sinless? You tell me. Sinful. It's sinful. So why are you saying Christ never sinned? Muhammad sinned. Meanwhile, you have this in your in your in your in your in your, in your books. So Jesus said, You hypocrite, why do you have a beam in your eye when you say your friend have a moon? And first of all, you move that beam before you start pointing fingers. So they have a problem also. Number three. Number four. I said, look. Why do you baptize? Why do we baptize? What is the reason for baptism? Can anybody tell me here? Why is it that the Christians did baptize? For what? What is the significance of baptism? You tell me, I give you one of my DVD. Anybody? Why do Christians baptize? Yes. Um, to, to accept Jesus Christ as the Savior. That's, that's, a, nice, that's, that's a good try. Yeah, good try. Right. I mean, yeah. Huh? Yes. Baptism is for the remission of sin. <coughs> to wash you in the water. They immerse in the water, you come and baptize. Baptize is to, is to cleanse you from your sin. So the question I'm asking is that, why is it that John the Baptist baptized Jesus Christ in the river Jordan? Why? Why was he baptized? He had that inherent sin of Adam in him. Even if it is hard because Mary have 50% of Adam's sin, according to what they are thinking, that we all have sin. Okay, Mary is not God, so she have that 50% sin. Jesus came from her, so he have that inherent sin in him. So he was baptized before he was punished with the Injil. Before that, he was not called son of God, no Injil, no nothing. After he was baptized, the Injil began to descend on him. So why was he baptized? I mean, he's a sinful. But according to the Bible, not according to the Muslims. Now, in the book of Luke, chapter 19, verse 27, Luke 19, 27, Jesus said, Any one of you who don't want me to be their king, to be their king, bring them here and cut their throats, slay them before me. He was in Jerusalem with the disciple behind him. He said, For those of you, who don't want me to be their king, bring them here and slay them before me. You will never hear this, this verse quoted by Christians. Because he talks about jihad in Jesus Christ. Yes, but they never quote this verse. Takbir! Takbir! Saying that Muhammad used his sword. Now he's saying this. So in the book of Matthew, the 10 verse 34, Jesus said, do not think that I have come to bring peace on earth. No, I have not come to bring peace. I have come to bring sword. I have come to divide mother and father. Mother-in-law and father-in-law and man and his neighbor. Oh, how happy would I be if all this is in place. SubhanAllah. Is that sinful or sinless? Is that sinful? He said, do not think that I have come to bring peace on earth. No, I have not come to bring peace. I have come to bring sword. Jihad. Safe. And you tell me he's not sin, he's sinless. Look at his, his, his record in your own book. He had to say Muhammad, Allah said, 
show me in the Quran where Allah said Muhammad takes on and slaughter them. Where? How? When? Not even recorded. Islam is a merciful religion. It's a merciful religion. So when we're talking about sinless and sinful comparing Muhammad and Jesus, you guys have to be very careful our sentence. Number five, we move forward again. You know, there was a time when Jesus Christ was walking in Jerusalem, in Gaza, the Gaza Strip. He was walking there. Christ came from Gaza. He's a Palestinian. He was born in Bethlehem, 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 and in Bethlehem. Christ was born there. The Nazarene, Nazareth, Nazarene. It's a town in Gaza, in Palestine. That's where he was born. So he was walking there, as he was walking, doing da'wah. A lady came to him, running, running. This is, Mark, this is Matthew chapter uh, 21, 15 verse 21. Matthew 15, 21. A woman came to him. She's an Arab woman. An Arab woman. The Bible said an Arab woman. From Canaan. She saw Jesus Christ walking. She said, good master, please heal my daughter. She is possessed with the demon. You know, Shaitan has taken over her daughter. Her daughter is in the trance. You know, Jim. So he saw, she saw Jesus Christ and said, Good master, O thou son of David, please heal my daughter. You know what he did, Jesus? He went like this. He looked at her and went like this. Then she came here. The Bible says she scooped to the ground. She said, O thou son of David, please heal my daughter, for she is sick with the demon. You know what Jesus did? He went like this. Then she came here again. She fell down crying, begging him to heal her daughter. Well, what he did? He woke up. And he began to walk. Not even a word, he never spoke to her. And she was following, she was crying. Then Peter, one of the disciples, he said, Master, heal her, for she is crying unto us. Listen to what Jesus said. Look at him and say, Peter, it is not good to take the children's bread and give it to a dog like her. He said, Peter, it is not good to take the children's bread and give it to a dog like her. Why is he calling a woman dog? Why would you call Allah's creation dog? Allah didn't make her no dog. You know what the woman said? She said, Master, even the dogs will eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table. She said, You call me dog, Master? But I'm gonna wait. If you eat finish the crumbs, I'm gonna eat. I'm gonna eat the one crumb. Then he look at it. He said, Woman, let it be done as thou wilt. You wanna eat the crumbs? Let it be done as thou wilt. But the bread is for Israelites. The bread is the life, the bread of life, the injil, the good news, the evangel is meant for the Israelites. You are an Arab. So is this sinful or sinless? Is it sinful? Somebody came to you looking for guidance, you refuse to guide her. And then the Christians are telling me that he never committed a sin. We, the Muslims, believe that all prophets, they are sinless. But if you are arguing like this, then we have to boldly argue also, using your own book. So now, Mr. Mario, we give you the answer. Say, this is your issue.